What's up, y'all? We in my neighborhood. I'm about to do a little TXL speech so while I'm walking. You know what I'm saying? You know, we just be looking at the, the cut down trees, the neighborhood, you know, everything that's going down. Look at this, y'all. Five dollars. And then we just, uh, we're going to keep going, you know, blessings. Thank you, universe. Uh, well, we out here right now. We in Louisiana, just chilling. <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of things going on right now. But what I want to talk about specifically is uh, one of the biggest topics that needs to be talked about, but it's not talked about, which is race, which sucks because... If we if we all live in this place and we can't even talk about race, it's it that's confusing because there's and it's so many different varieties of people and just everything, you know what I mean? So, we need to be able to speak and listen to other people's perspectives and everything and try to understand how they feel about race and then they sh should listen and try to understand how other people feel about race and then we can actually bridge this gap or have this conversation because it sucks because you want to be cool with everybody you want to be friends with everybody you know what i'm saying look at this big old cornfield over here or this bean field or whatever field it is um, you want to be cool with everybody, but I guess it just sometimes it don't work like that because, um, I don't know. It just don't work. Like, uh, people just either don't want to talk about it or, um, or they do want to talk about it, but they don't know what to say. I can say that too, also. Um. But yeah, you know, we just chilling. I still got my base moccasins on. We had these for about years. You know what I'm saying? They about to give out on me. Yeah, I wear house shoes. I wear house shoes every single day for years. You know, everywhere I went. I even got elected senator of the college of Louisiana with my so <laughs> with my moccasins on and my hair braided. You know, I was the first elected senator with his hair braided and moccasins. So my picture going to be in the wall if y'all ever come to Louisiana, to the Louisiana college. But yeah, it's crazy because it's not even a big deal to me. Like, when I look at another person, I'm like, okay, that's another person. Like, they didn't went through, they were born, and they learned stuff from seeing their environment, and they just they live who they what they taught or what whatever they learn you know what i'm saying so i'm just looking at them like okay that's a human being cool what's up you know but there's other people that look at you like you're not just a regular human being like them they look at you like well he's automatically category in a different perspective or a different social um social label or in what uh whatever economic preference uh pretext or you know societal societal um term or something like that they don't look at you as just a regular human and want to talk to you like they'll either want to talk to you like say say i'm asian like right i'm asian and somebody will come up to me and be like Man, you see that new Bruce Lee movie? That new Jackie Chan? You know what I'm saying? Like, trying to... I think it's even, like, they want to they wanna show you that... Um, they want to show you that... Like, there's... They're aware of the differences between people. But the way it comes out, it seems just, like, blatantly, like, dang, you're looking at me straight because of my color and... 
that's what you're gonna base the topic of the conversation off of just my color so it's like what the freak you know if i'm mexican you're gonna talk about tacos burritos or something like that what you gonna talk to mexicans about you well what do you think about the wall you know what i mean now if you muslim you got a headscarf on and they're gonna walk up to you and be like well um what religion do you believe in you know some crazy stuff like but there are some people that don't look at others like that some other people look at people like humans you know and just talk to them normally and be friends with them but there's some people that they are not able to do that so like and if you black you know what i'm saying they're just gonna come to you and be like Oh, you you seen Kobe? Mike, I know Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's he's real. Or like they want to talk on any any race or whatever. They want to talk about something about that race to try to connect with you. But it's like they're not even connecting with you. It's like they're kind of like it's like they're pushing pushing you away. Like you you don't want to have a conversation with them. And the only thing they want to talk about is something about your color. You can't just have a normal conversation like, hey, it's a great day, how's the weather and everything? You know what I'm saying? But this is Lil TXL uh, on race. You know what I'm saying? I'm stopping by the store right now. I'm out, y'all. Love.